Hi guys, welcome to my tutorial on how to add a reflection to um, an object in Photoshop. Uh, this is my first tutorial video of IMC. Um, my name is Robbie McWilliams, I'm a freelance designer, uh, video uh, videographer and photographer. So yeah, on the channel I'm going to be adding um, current projects that I'm working on and also tutorial videos uh, to help you guys out. So if we open up Photoshop, and I'll show you what we're doing first of all. We're going to add this reflection onto, um, on in this particular case, it's the uh, the Drake, uh, the new Drake album, um, very good album. So I decided to choose this for the uh, this tutorial. And what we're going to do is add this reflection onto the bottom. And um, I know Apple uses it quite a lot on uh, their products, like the on the website and the cover flow. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Um, if we open up a new document, you need to paste the object that you want to add the reflection on into the document. Uh, by the way, this doesn't have to be a CD. Um, I mean, this can be any object as long as it's got a flat surface at the bottom, as you can see here. Then, um, I mean, this this process can be applied to anything. Um, so, f right, first things first. If we add in a background color first, uh, to do that, if we add a new layer drag that behind the album cover and we'll just get the paint bucket tool switch this to black so that's that uh, doesn't have to be black it can be you know any color at all now if we go back over to the layers highlight this layer here if we push the command J that will duplicate the layer you can see there what you need to do is go, go to the edit, transform, and we need to flip vertical. So this will flip it upside down, and then what you can do then is drag it down to the bottom, just under there. Line up with the bottom there. Uh, if you come, come back over to the layer palette, and you see at the bottom there's like a, a square of a circle in. If we hold Alt and just click that, what, what that's going to do is add a mask in front of the layer. If we go over to the, if you come over to here, the gradient tool, um, and what we need to do is make sure that you've got the foreground white, the background black, and then come up to the top and choose the option, this first one, where it's basically the foreground to background gradient tool. And now if you come back to this object, you might need to play around with this, but if you hold shift and drag down, let go, it, it's basically faded the layer The layer behind the mask, it's faded it, so it reveals what's behind the layer and then it fades into black so you can't see what's behind it. So, I mean, that's the reflection there. I mean, you could leave it like that, but what I'm going to do now is just add in this this gradient here. So to do that, if we add a new layer in, you can click just by clicking this button here. That will add one in front of the background. Uh, if you grab the marquee tool, just drag that out, get the gradient tool again. This time you want to fade the uh, foreground to transparent option there. Drag down. That will add the gradient there. You need to change the opacity now to whatever suits the, you know, the object that you're doing. Drag that down there, and yeah, drag this down, and voila! It gives the effect of the reflection, and then just the gradient in the background gives it depth of field. So yeah, um, that was the first tutorial. If you liked it, please comment, subscribe, um, or if there's you know, uh, tutorials, you know, that you want to know how to do, um, uh, message me, comment on the video, let me know what you want to, like, that you want a tutorial and I'll try and do it for you. Or, you know, even if you just want to tell me what your favourite track is on the Drake album, comment on the video, click the like button, comment, subscribe, share. Yeah. Uh, one thing that I'm going to be trying to do with my tutorials is, you know, try and keep them really quick, uh, to the point, straight away. Because one thing that really annoys me on tutorial videos at the moment is when you know you just want to learn something and they take an age to talk about it. Rah, rah, rah. So yeah, I'm going to be, uh, my tutorial is going to be very quick, bang to the point, 
in, out, straight away, boom, done. So yeah, uh, comment, subscribe. See you next time, guys. Cheers, bye.